Today we're learning about cutting holes into cardboard. Remember whenever we were making our, our personal reading settings that some of the materials you helped me brainstorm together was that you wanted to use cardboard boxes and you might want to put windows in your boxes. So what you'll need is a writing utensil. It can be a Sharpie or a pencil or um, a pen, whatever you have. That's fine. Um, and we'll need some scissors and anything cardboard. I'm going to use this old Pete's box. That's what I have available right now. Um, for some inspiration before we start making our reading settings, here's some few artists that have you, have made entire sculptures out of cardboard. They're really neat. So you can use um, cardboard in a variety of ways, not just for the outside structure of your setting. So you can use it for decoration or for storage, really anything you want. Um, look how this artist used the cardboard to create um, what they call the Cardboard Institute of Technology. And they, had, they must have used a lot of cutting and um, fitting together to create this. The next one looks like lockers and could be used for storage. The next example of cardboard art is from an architectural firm in Norway. It kind of is hard to tell, but if you, can, if you look really closely at the picture, the boxes aren't on the ground. They're suspended over top to represent clouds. So you don't even have to use um, cardboard boxes to represent things that are actually square. Now that we have some inspiration, we can be begin cutting our own cardboard. Um, remember when we're cutting cardboard, you don't want to um, cut near the folds or the bends in cardboard because that's where it is really weak. So you want to stay toward the middle. So in the middle of the box, I want to make a square window. So I'll draw my square window so I know where I'm cutting. Then carefully you want to poke a hole anywhere inside your window. You don't want to go outside because then your window will be bigger than what you drew. So to do that you push gently but firm enough that you can poke through the cardboard. You have to twist a little bit and it, it might be a little tough but don't worry if you have trouble just keep pushing until you get all the way through and you have a nice hole. Then once you have your hole open your scissors and cut toward the edge of what your window is. Then you can cut along your drawn lines. That's why we drew them, so that way you know exactly where you're going. To get closer to an edge, you want to use the closer to the, to the mouth of the scissors. You might have to maneuver your cardboard a little bit. Just keep at a slow rate. Don't need to rush. The faster you cut, you might get jagged edges, and we do not want that. Now, it's okay if you want to make your window a little bigger than what you got. Now, see, I have my window. But we, the reason we did it this way and not something like this, like I'll draw a new window. The reason we didn't do it this way and just cut from the edge and cut our square out was because once you get rid of this window here, you'll have this flat. And then your cardboard isn't together anymore and you're, if that's the wall of your re reading space, it won't stay up. And that's how we're going to cut cardboard.